What's up everybody? So as you guys can see, um, I got myself a Wacom Cintiq. It was overdue. Um, I love Wacoms and I've been waiting a while to actually get this. I think the 16 inch is the perfect size for me. I'll tell you guys why. So let's get to unboxing this first and then I'll give you guys my first impressions. Let's do it. Alright, let's open this up and see what's inside. On this little box here, on top, we have the cable, European and UK. That's, that's the one I'll be doing using. There's nothing else inside here. I have to say, this cardboard smells real good. And then, what do we have here? We have is this tap to pull? No, nope, I don't think so. So we have, we can take that out, all right. There's nothing here, just foam. Very nice though, very nice. Just foam here to actually protect the Wacom. And then I thought, oh yeah, I can actually pull this tab and reveal the tablet. So nice protective um, tissue-like, something synthetic, but uh, feels soft to the touch. And let's take this out. Uh, maybe this this is not the best side to have the sticky tape. And nice. First impressions are that um, it's bigger than I thought. 16 inches is no joke. So I on purpose didn't go for the 22 inches because I had one of those before and it was slightly too big and cumbersome to have on my desk. It just takes all the space. So I went for a 16 this time and I'm super happy I did. Looks really nice and it feels the right size. All right, so that is the tablet. I'm gonna put it aside here. And then we have the classic pen, all wrapped up in nice. Oh, there's an upgrade here. A little bit of like metal looking plastic here. Looks really cool. Yeah, this is still the same thing. And it feels sturdy as always. And it has the rubber bit is actually springy in this time. Yeah, it feels good. It feels premium now. It feels really premium. Nice one. So that's the pen right there. Then we have the cabling. All of the stuff that we need to connect the Wacom to. So an HDMI cable and probably something else. Let me just see, this is the power brick. Also wrapped up in this uh, fabric, fake fabric thing, just in case, I guess. So this is the power brick and the power brick goes into, goes into here, okay. So a little less cables than uh, I was expecting, which is cool. Anything else under? Nope, nothing else under. That's it. Right. So I'm just gonna put it all here. So pen, tablet. I've seen that now you can put your pen here. And man, that looks cool. <laughs> a much better way of stowing the pan instead of the, the little thing 
that came with it before, which was like a little thing that you put in. I used to always lose them. So this, it's gonna be much easier to kind of keep the pan away, stowed away, safe, nice and safe. Let me see what else there is there. So on the back, we have a couple of feet to raise the tablet to a nice uh, angle. And then we have what's here, the connections. Yeah, there's a connection here. And that's about it, that's one connection. That's different, makes sense, but it's different. Nice one. And we put it down like this. That's a nice angle to draw. Oh, and that feel, that feels good, that feels different. I feel like the nib is slightly smaller than before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is smaller than before. And it feels better, it feels more like paper, which is really cool. Um, I love the feel of it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and plug all this in, and then once plugged in, I'll uh, bring you guys along for first impressions. To set up this, um, I believe you just you just turn it around. It has four little screws here for an arm um, that you can mount the the Wacom on top. That is really handy. I'm definitely doing that in the future. I'm gonna get an arm to uh, attach to the side of the uh, table and then basically use that arm to swivel the Wacom in and out whenever I need it. Thanks a lot to uh, Jean Denis, JD, for the idea, because he has one, I saw it, and I loved it. So, JD, awesome idea. I definitely need to do the same thing because getting this Wacom in and out of in front of me whenever I'm working uh, I don't need it all the time, I need it sometimes, so having a way to get it in and out whenever I need it, definitely a must. Now, in order to set it up, as you can see, you have the little uh, feet here, but the connection is going to be on the side here. So, I have my cable there, um, there's two little arrows, uh, there's two sides to it, there's two little arrows, and these arrows actually uh, go up, and then you just click it in, you can hear a click. You just kind of uh, get this to go around. You can see that there's a little gap right there to allow for the cable to be nice and tidy. So now you should be good to go. You can get your legs out. And you should be able to get your Wacom in the right position. Now, for these three cables, you have a USB, HDMI, and then you have the power, um, where the power comes through. This is where the power brick should be attached to. Um, there's a specific way that you need to attach this cable. So when you look at this, there's one side that has almost like a recessed um, in, in indention here. So that should be on the bottom. This is not perfectly square, so one of the sides is going to be flat. Therefore, you want to add that to the bottom and boom. So this flat bit should be on top here. And now you have power for your Wacom. And now we have the HDMI and the USB. My Mac here doesn't have an HDMI, so I'm gonna to have to have a connection that goes from HDMI to a USB Type-C, so I can connect it to here, or I have another connection, two connections on the back of this. I already have that, because my current tablet that I have, if you haven't watched that review, go and check it out, because I have a review of my previous tablet. It's not a Wacom. They already had something very specific that it was exactly like this, a USB and a HDMI, and I had to buy an adapter to go from HDMI to USB Type-C. So, I'm gonna get that done, and then we'll come back. Uh, 
summertime, summer vibe. I've been on my summer grind, sun up to the sun is down all day. Build it in the winter, cause you know the mitten get a little frigid, and that'll go a long way. I've been in the crib hella long, man. Looking outside, like, yeah, let me find out somebody got the memo, this is all fake. I'll be gone till November on the road, pushing limits to the coast for the swimming in the palm shade. At the park for the parlay, barbecue and number union sipping something while the cards lay. Forgetting living in the North Face, stretching out for the more space. With my hair right and my friends close, it's the All right, so after a little bit of connecting cables and finally setting up my Wacom, here I go to connect it for the first time in front of you guys and let's see what we get. Starting up. Man, this is exciting. Okay. So I get like automatically an extra, like the screen. And where is the screen? I need to set up my screens. Let me just go to my settings, displays, and arrangement. And right now this is to the side. It shouldn't be to the side, it should be to the bottom. So now, if I actually go down here and go up, yes, now that's much better. So I'm just gonna like centralize it a little bit more and that's it. So I'm using Tayasui. Tayasui is like a really excellent um, sketch uh, software. Highly recommend it if you guys don't, haven't seen it. And let's see how this feels to draw. incredible and it's much more uh, precise and reactive than a, the previous uh, Wacom that I had. It's really, really cool. And uh, it slides really well, the hand slides really well. Let me get some something else. Yeah, it feels so good. So um, that's my first impression. Wacom, once again, makes it shine and makes it amazing. <laughs> and I feel like the 16 inches that I get here are more than enough for me, um, given what I am want to do with this, which is mostly like review animations and, and actually get to a better, um, Better drawing style, and I think I need something a little bit more um, sturdy and um, more reliable. Because the last um, the last uh, tablet that I had that I reviewed here, even though it's a Lexington tablet, um, it was not as reliable as this one. Uh, sometimes you used to disconnect, unfortunately, so we used to have to connect it again. I feel like the Wacom here, as soon as you disconnect it, is disconnected. It's all good. There's no flickering on the last one that I, uh, that I had, there was a, a flicker. And as soon as you connect it again, say starting up, and then you're back to your actually, your secondary screen and even gives you back your application that is open on the secondary window. So it's really, really well done. I, I'm loving this. I think I'm gonna leave it connected at all times, unlike my last tablet, that I used to only connect it when I needed it. So really like it. These are my first impressions. I think that if you're actually on the market to get a tablet right now for your drawing, for your reviewing, for your animation, the Wacom 16 inches, um, you cannot go wrong with this. Uh, it feels like the glass, the drawing is very much like close to the glass, unlike my previous 22 inches, which was a bit older. This one feels much more like precise and um, responsive, I should say. And I really like how it feels overall. The fact that they give you this extra pen that looks a little bit more premium is excellent. And the fact that you can put it just next to the tablet, just like that, um, I think is a much better, better call than having the little, um, I don't know what to call it, stand for the pen. 
that stuff I used to always lose. So um, I think this is a very, very good call. Um, once again, Wacom doesn't disappoint. They actually did it again. This is an excellent purchase. I think 16 inches is plenty of space. It doesn't look as big as it is in reality on camera. I can already tell that it looks actually quite small, but believe me, this is a really, really good size. So if you look at a 16 inch laptop, 15 inch laptop, look at, uh, imagine the screen a little bit bigger and you have this and it's a really good size. And that's all I had for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this unboxing and first impressions. Hopefully in the future, I get to do a more in-depth review about this because um, I'm really digging it, but uh, only if time permits. If not, I'll leave you guys with this. And as always, stay well, stay safe. Peace.